Arare City Council Town Clerk Osaya Chisango and his accomplice Atkins Mandazo's bid for freedom hit a brick wall after he was denied bail by Harare Magistrate Mare Wanajo Gofa. Chisango and Mandaza are facing criminal abuse of office charges after they allegedly awarded a streetlight tender worth over 9 million United States dollars in a case that has sacked businessmen Moses Mpofu and Mike Chimombe, who are already in prison. Magistrate Kofa ruled that Chisango's conduct in respect to this case is questionable and shows negligence considering that he was given a task to sign most procurements. She further added that due diligence was required before he signed the contract. The magistrate further ruled that releasing the accused persons on bail will likely cause social uprisings from the public. She stated that this is because the accused persons facilitated a tender to Mpofu's company that failed to deliver services that were supposed to benefit the public. The case will resume on 22 August pending finalization of investigations. In another case, Businessmen Mike Chimombe and Moses Mpofu were indicted to the High Court for trial from 1 to 4 October 2024. The prosecution led by Anne Suchirenji told the court that the state papers and documentary evidence was ready for the accused persons to proceed to trial. The two businessmen stand accused of defrauding government of 7.3 million United States dollars in the presidential court scheme. In another case, alleged fraudsters Blessing Tumbare and Tonga Ineti, who targeted housing company through its two operators, appeared before Harare Magistrate Simon Candiero facing 9,251 US dollars fraud charges. The accused persons approached one of the two operators and misrepresented to her that they had been sent by a military man to purchase 500 bags of cement using his business partner account. Acting on the misrepresentation, the two operators processed the transaction. It is alleged that they approached a different two operator and misrepresented to him again. The matter came to light when internal investigations were carried out after a customer who intended to buy some material from the hardware discovered that there was no money in his account. The company lodged a complaint with the police leading to the arrest of the accused persons. For ZTN Prime, I'm Kimberly Chimbalanga in Harare.